I probably work alone more than I do work with people. When I'm, um, when I'm home, um, I, I, I like to have a little bit of time to myself to kind of work out ideas um, and just, you know, techniques. You know, you can really do some interesting stuff when you're in a studio by yourself that you may not want other people to see, so. And what do you, why would you bring people in? Why, why do you, what, is, what are the times when you want to bring people in for collaboration? Um, well, I think the, the, what, what I started to go through um, is I am, you, you know me, I'm, I'm a really big technology geek. Like, I just love gadgets and stuff. Um, but what I realized is we kind of lost the art of collaboration. Um, that we don't all get into the room and share ideas because everybody is really focused on their laptop. Um, so as much as I can, I try to bring other people in um, and just collaborate and, and see what you can come up with. You know, most of, the, most of the music that I grew up off of and that I love was not just one person in the room making it. It was a bunch of people. So. Do you think that's because of uh, being able to do everything yourself on your computer, or is it, is it something else? That no, it, it, it absolutely is. I mean, you know, which I think is a, a great benefit to be able to work your ideas out. Um, like I said, I am a humongous fan of technology and just where everything is. I just think that um, you get locked into your laptop and locked into your idea. Um, and instead of bouncing ideas off of multiple people. So, you know, and, and, and somebody has to start that. You know, you, you came down when we had the sessions last January. Um, I invited a bunch of uh, producers and musicians down. And for two weeks, all we did is cook food and make music. You know, I don't think anybody showered, you know, got dressed. You know, it was just, it, it was probably the most incredible musical experience that I've ever had. And what about those musicians that come there? How does that work into it? What's your role when you have all these musicians there? Um, a lot of times I just sit back and, and I don't like really telling somebody so much what to do. Um, you know, if, you know, this guy's a great painter, I'm not going to, I may give him an a, a, a idea on the color that I want, but I'm not going to tell him how to paint when he paints better than I do. So, you know, I just, I think putting, putting that puzzle, putting that puzzle together. Um, a, a, a long time ago, um, I had a sit down conversation with Quincy Jones. Um, and it was, he, he, he told me that there's a big misconception on what people think a producer is. A producer is not the person that just makes the beat. Um, and he said, if I dump a puzzle on the table and, and tell you to put that piece there and tell him to put that piece there and tell her to put that piece there, who put the puzzle together? And he was like, I put the puzzle together with everyone else's hands. And he's like, that's basically what the definition of a producer is, is the person who puts the puzzle together. So sometimes it's just bringing the right ingredients together to, to make sure that the puzzle was put together right. I think it's also like a, um, uh, an objective uh, ear, too, in a way. I think this is something missing in, in production today because everybody's a producer, mm -hmm. but nobody has the, um, the uh, ability to step back and listen to what could make an, an album better, I think. So. That's that collaboration that we don't have um, because it's always, you know, when, when we made the Jill Scott record, we fought. We fought. Like, I, I remember going to mastering of that record, and Jill picked up the phone and called me and said, I want to thank you for making a mediocre album with me and hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then three million copies later, you know, but to me, that was a part of it. You know, you're not going to agree on, on things, and sometimes those disagreements um, bring out the best music. You know, and you always want to have an objective ear. You know, somebody, you know, that's why I think I bring so many people in the studio because I know I don't know everything, you know, and I want somebody else to tell me something. And it can come from anybody, 
You know, it can come from the most inexperienced person, you know, that you know. That's usually that can, me, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that would just give you an idea and a light bulb will go off and you're like, okay, I need to change that. 